Greetings folks, this is Woody from Obadiah's, it's your pellet hopper, it's a European hopper, it's got the top on it, I don't know if you can see but maybe inside there, and it's designed to have pellets blown into it, here in Montana we don't have bulk service for pellet, pellets are delivered from that hopper via this tube, it's a PVC pipe, it has a copper winding in it for a ground for static electricity make sure you connect both ends there's a turbine right there that will deliver the pellets from the big hopper into the side hopper on the pellet boiler a couple things I wanted to point out when you install your hopper I'm going to give you some installation pointers. Make sure you put them on pads all the way around. And then put a concrete pad underneath the base. Then you can put the wood on the concrete and then shim from there. Um, it's going to be real hard to get that base level um, unless you measure everything out and put your base in first and then make sure the base is level. I put it in afterwards. So what I'll do is just kind of shim it up with wood on the corners to make sure each corner is fully supported and that will carry most of the weight. The other thing is you need to be able to get inside of it make your final connections down there for your hose. As far as engineering I'm impressed. Very heavy duty. I mean this hopper is heavy duty man. It weighs like 250 pounds could have made it out of plastic. They didn't. Welds are incredible. Quality is real nice. Big refractory. There's the burn chamber down there. A couple things I want to point out. The way that this thing sits, it sits literally on these bolts. There's notches. Make sure these are tightened. Um, you hang it there and then it kind of kicks down at the bottom. Everything's fit really well except when I got to this guy here which is this leg and it was not going to make it. So what I did was I put a jack down at the base and then I brought it in right there to that corner and I just lifted it up a little bit. There's no way to get a hold of this thing. Um, there's no adjustment in the leg. So my guess is the floor isn't level. And that's why this happened. But I wanted to share with you how I solved the issue. And I just used a regular bottle jack. I measured a board. And then just jacked it up a little bit. And was able to get this guy in. So... Anyhow, hopefully that helps anybody in the future. Other than that, everything has fit really well. I'm impressed. It's gone together great.